Alright, so y'all see the board. Now, I was going to do this with Dylan and it didn't quite go through, but I'm not going to cover what we're going to cover on that. There's something else on here that is just bugging the shit out of me. So, I guess this will be a uh, public service announcement, maybe. People always ask, man, you know, you ain't got an FDA approval and, you know, the stuff isn't safe because... The Food and Drug Administration hasn't looked into it. Do you have any idea what you're saying? Seriously, um, y'all be careful. Because the statistics are somewhat gruesome as hell. And what I found, it appears we've been lied to like a motherfucker. Because as far as I can tell, like SARMs, for instance, selective antigen receptor modulators, some of them I can't even find an LD50 rating on, which is the lethal dose that kills half the rats. Oh, my truck alarm's going off. That's awesome. It kills half the rats at that dose. Um, so, well, that's LD50. Now we know how much to give you. Like, some things you have to drown in, okay? But, look at this. SARMs. Can't find nobody to die from them. DMAA, possibly two in a year. It might be two people a year die. That shit's dangerous. Then, then we had to take that off all the shelves. Then trim had to come out. Trim had to go away. It was two people a year, possibly, die from taking DMAA and all of those workout supplements. But Tylenol, my God, 56 thousand people hospitalized a year due to Tylenol. 15,000 or more are killed by Tylenol overdose. Not trying to commit suicide by taking it for long periods of time and it destroying their liver. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs in general, which is what Tylenol is, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. See, steroids are anti-inflammatories in the pharmaceutical world. Anyway, 16,500 deaths a year from aspirin and Tylenol and um, what's the other ones? You know what they are. You buy them on the counter. They're for pain. Right? Ibuprofen. 16,000. That's a lot of damn people. Steroids. Last year, 10, maybe 12. All my fingers and a couple toes. Painkillers. Prescription. Approved by the FDA. 64,000 people died. From a fucking painkiller. Y'all. The stats have it that. Oh. Other unapproved by the FDA, things that you might take regularly. Caffeine, not approved by the FDA. Tea, not approved by the FDA. Multivitamins, not approved by the FDA. Sudafed, like and might all, sorry, none of that. FDA approved drugs, though, kill more people in the United States than guns, street drugs, wars, and AIDS combined every year. They are the number one killer of adults under 50. Like, holy sh... That means you made it past childhood. And it's the number one killer is taking doctor prescribed dope. Remember, this is... Street drugs are not included. This is doctor dope. They even kill more than car accidents in 2016. Used to, the most dangerous thing you did every day was drive your car to work. That, I would have a wreck and die, is real. That's the most dangerous thing that people do on a daily basis, but not anymore. The most dangerous thing you do now is go visit your doctor. 
You tell me that there's a problem with research chemicals? Who the fuck are you serving, sir? Mr. Government, let my people go. You have people in jails that don't need to be in jails. They're not hurting as many as the guy with the little white notepad. Man, that shit's gotta stop. Think about that. 210,000 Americans. The Journal of the American Medical Association admits that they killed in 2014 with drugs and unnecessary surgery. That's the equivalent of two jumbo jets with 300 people on board. Every day of every year. No survivors. Would we fly a plane if that happened? Not one would leave. We went to war over a few planes down, yet we allow our people to be killed by droves. Don't say a word. When's the last time you heard your politicians say, we gotta stop these drugs that the doctors are prescribing? No. But you know what's funny is that won't work. What will work is the truth. The truth will set people free. Research chemicals, many of them non-toxic, might be the answer if people will open their eyes and use their mind. But believe me, if you're not willing to use your brain, no one can save you anyway. But for those who are willing to search and find Let's find the best stuff and let's do it right and let's fix this. The number one killer in the United States. That is not a disease. It's doctors and prescription drugs. And granted, it's not your doctor's fault. He doesn't know any better. He's taught by pharmaceutical industry. They're at fault. So... Let us wage war on the lack of independence that we have and the medical monopoly of drugs. You realize that there is a monopoly that is pharmaceutical drugs and if you try to compete with them, they throw you in jail. They'll put you in a cage. It's time we fix that with the truth. I'm not telling them that they can't, but let's be for true freedom and tell us we can provide the truth so that people can get whatever they wish, meaning that so people can make an informed decision about whether they would rather use a research chemical that may probably has less side effects and more benefits instead of using what we know killed their parents. It's not asking a whole lot. If you with me, then uh, let me know, man, if you don't mind. Comment under this video or uh, find me at sethnhc at att.net. Shoot me an email. Just say, hey, man, I'm in. I'll put you on the email list. Oh. Um.